So, let's check out Boosie's thoughts on the old block member that was doing some crazy stuff. Let, let's find out his thoughts on it and uh, react to him. We don't really talk about open cases in detail, but this case is done. I, I have some stuff to say about O'Block, um, but in a little while, I, ha I have a few things to mention about O'Block. At this point, the O'Block 6 got found guilty of killing FBG Duck. Yeah, yeah. I knew Duck in the sense that we did two interviews. Oh, okay. Yeah, and... Uh, you know, in both interviews, I told him he needs to move out of Chicago. And he argued with me in both interviews, only to have the worst possible situation happen to him. <clears throat> but, you know, but you said that you already knew what was about to happen to him because of that song, Dead Bitches. Yeah, I had told my boy we was going to Lennox, and he was, uh, he was playing it for me. Like, dude be snapping, and he, he liked that, you know, my boy. He a big chubby nigga, you know, he, <laughs> anybody kind of big, he like him. You know, he, so he was like, man, just listen, he, I was like, bro, that's Chirac right now. That's too many people. He, t I mean, I remember, bro, and, you know, probably five, six months later, he, he was gone. Well, all and I like that song. If you gon' slide, motherfucker, then slide. slide man. I oh, don't yeah. fuck with rapper. No, no, yeah, I, I, I like, I yeah, like that. Like was that was his first hit song. Yeah. I like that motherfucker. Yeah, no. I like I, that motherfucker. Duck was raw, man. I, I, like I that really like Duck. I, I really like Duck. Like, I liked it, that song. Nah, he, he was dope. But you look, the six people that got convicted, C Murder, different C Murder than you know, of course. 32, Kenny Mack, 30, Los, 32, C Thang, 24, Muwap, 24, TZ, 34. You gotta think they've been locked up for three years. So some of these dudes were like locked up at 21. Okay. And they're all facing mandatory life sentences. I wanna say something about O Block real quick. Now, it might not be the best person this coming from. I might not be the best person. But I got some real opinions on it. Uh, listen. So, O Block, who are they? Listen, King Vine, remember him? Remember King Vine? He was the one, I think at least, I think that King Vine was the one that made this certain hood O Block. Uh, like popular. I think he was the one who made it popular. All right, listen, like, but did they protect King Von? No, they didn't. So I don't, I don't understand why. Why are we always hearing some crazy coming out of? O block now, nah, like it don't make no sense. They didn't, they didn't protect the richest one that came, like, like King Von. Like he, I think that he was the real up and coming from O block. Now, getting O block. What about Quando Rondo? Huh? Cause if you want to talk about O block. And Quando Rondo's not from O Block, but he dealt with people from O Block, like King Von. They got into a fight and stuff had happened, right? So, like, I don't know, to me, to me, if you want to bring up O Block, to me, Quando Rondo, as a rapper and as a person, is like way more street, way more, like has way more prestige and like than O Block. Quando Rondo, it seemed to me like the people he got around him is uh, bigger and tougher 
than O Block. All right. I think the people Quando Rondo got around him is bigger and tougher than O Block because of the situation that we've seen. I mean, that was the number one, like one number one Snapchat stories. That's how crazy it was whenever all that stuff happened. But, like, I don't know. That's my take on O Block. Like, I, I really feel like King Von was the one that made O Block so, so popular because that's where he came from and that's where other people started coming up from all of a sudden. But, like, you know, you know, Quandorano's take on O-Block probably ain't nothing. I would think at least. But, I mean, who knows, you know, like, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't want to go walk out there at nighttime for sure. You know what I mean? But, like, but that goes for any street in Louisiana, too. Like, so, I mean, what... I don't know. I don't get it. Why people make such a big deal about Oblak? Why do you think, from your point of view, that six people would get together to kill someone in broad daylight on the most expensive block in Chicago, knowing there was almost zero chance of getting away? I mean, I don't know if they did that. Hey, just because the jury say they did that, I, that don't mean I'm going to say they did that. Okay. They but if, they, that did, but if they did, I mean, if they if did, you, why, why do dudes, why would you throw your life away? You don't be thinking you're going to throw your life away at the time, but you know, when you go get somebody like that, it's, it's a bag involved. Okay, so there's 100000 involved. I mean, the, the rumor was that, that uh, King Vaughn put 100000 up. I don't know. I don't, I, don't saying, know. I, don't I, mean, know. I just interviewed FPG Butter about the situation. He actually testified in the case. Uh, that was the rule. King Vaughn is gone at this point. He got killed a few few months later. So at this point, it just is what it is. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. But but a hundred thousand over a murder, especially if there's multiple people involved. But you don't understand the situations of 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 street gorillas. I do not. You don't? Yeah. 100,000 is a lot of money. I know it's not a lot of money to us, Blair. You look no, at like, no, it is not. That's why you looking at it like that. I think it's insane. But $100,000, bro, when you from a place like Oblock across the track, you're rich. We don't look at a million like rich. $100,000, you're rich. And, and 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 the nigga nigga bust a nigga head for nothing. So you know, if a bag involved, uh, come and get you, bro. I just uh, I I get that part right, and I think and sometimes it don't be even be about if a nigga cross the line too much, the bag just extra. Right. Nigga just won't put you down, you you know. I, I I get that, and I get I understand the anger part, and I understand that okay, he dissed my dead homie, and you know I I hate this motherfucker, and you know maybe his side killed some of my people. They're talking about people they actually killed. I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing. But my whole thing is, okay, you catch a motherfucker in a basement or an alley somewhere. There's no no one around. There's no cameras. There's a reasonable chance to get away with it. Okay. If I kill someone in Lenox Mall, <laughs> you know, in front of the Louis Vuitton store, I don't think there's any chance that I'm getting away with it. You know, with literally cameras everywhere and, you know, a hundred witnesses around. That's your frame of mind. That's my frame of mind. But but that's also basic human survival, isn't it? Nah, that's your frame of mind. You know, uh, a lot of people, you know, you put something on your face and, you know, that wasn't me. You know, yeah, I mean, well. and when and when 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 it's and when it's up, when it's up is it's on site, Vlad. You know, ain't no telling when somebody gonna catch you again and let you make another song. So when it's up, is is on site wherever wherever somebody catch you at. That's how it is in the hood. That's how it is in every raw city 
I just I left Baton Rouge that. yesterday and I and I did the news for the first time. Yeah, I saw you on it. You know, that was big for me. You know, I, I never been to the news station. <laughs> I went to every news station. Oh, about Baton Rouge, I bet a bunch of old block people that that live up in old block or something like that. I bet see Bat Baton Rouge is is crazy in Baton Rouge. Like some street like bet they wouldn't want to go to them streets. Yeah. Uh, did interviews about my Boosie badge. And I was sitting down and uh, waiting to go to the back. And they played the news and it was seven different shootings in the last 48 hours, probably six dead. And I'm looking just like, she was like an action movie. But I'm looking, I'm like, so Boosie just said that there were seven shootings and 48 hours in Baton Rouge. You want to know the difference between Baton Rouge and New Orleans? All right. Baton Rouge had seven and 48 hours. Well, well wait. First, we were talking about O Block. Let's get to O Block. Let's get to Chicago. Chicago one time in a week had... Uh, what it was? It was sixty, sixty-eight shootings in a week, or something like that. It was either sixty-eight, maybe. I mean, the most was like eighty, for real. If it's not sixty-eight, at the most it was eighty. New Orleans, just a while back, like a few months ago, I think. Like, yeah, a few months ago, it was on TV. Uh, uh, on on the uh, whatever news channel it was, but uh, they reported that in New Orleans, this is how crazy New Orleans is. They had a thousand shootings in a week. Okay, that like, and this was just a a little while back. Like New Orleans is is really where they don't want to go. It's wilder than it was, man. I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at it like. Then women shot. Women. It's, it's, it's crazy, bro. I mean, we got to, we got to, we, we as, we as moguls and people, we got to, we got to encourage our people to get about that, bro. Because, man, I came back, I told two that you not, if you go to Baton Rouge again, I'm a kid now. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, he, he, I came in here muggy. He said, what's wrong with you, Dad? I said, if you go to fucking bed, I, I was so... Baton Rouge. I don't care nothing about Baton Rouge too much, but New Orleans, like, you got to really watch New Orleans. For real. For real. But, yeah, that's my take, man. Uh, that's my take on Boosie right there. On 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 what he thinks of the uh, members from O Block and stuff like that, but uh, I always wanted that. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you like the video, leave a like on it and uh, and subscribe to the video, so I can keep more content coming out for y'all.